Hey everyone, welcome to Craving Solutions. Today we are working on our Maytag washer here. We're having an issue with our optimal dispense drawer, our automatic dispense drawer here. Uh, it's it, it just kept filling with water. Uh, we'd add the detergent in there and over time the, it, it, the water would just get to the max line over here. Um, it, it would just continue to fill up with water um, and, and still have the detergent in there. So it was very confusing. We didn't understand what was going on and just felt like our clothes was not getting clean. Um, I would recommend if this happened to you, the first thing that you should do is take out the whole entire drawer, uh, take it apart, clean it all really well. Uh, however, that did not work for us. It did not clean anything. It didn't do anything. Um, uh, and so that's why I'm doing this video because I could not find anything online for this. And as always, we're all craving solutions. And if I can find a solution for something, I'm going to definitely share it with you, especially if we can't find it online. Um, so for this particular uh, Maytag washer, it is MHW8630. Okay. Um, and again, this is the drawer, uh, optimal dispense drawer, automatic dispense. It's an automatic dispenser. Um, so it's a little bit different than most, uh, because most of them just have water being added to the detergent, uh, drawer or compartment here, and then it just goes through. But this, um, actually holds a, uh, and a good amount of detergent so that you're not coming here so regularly adding more and more and more every single time. So, uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, when this wasn't working and I couldn't, the tray was clean. I decided to remove the the whole, um, well, I decided to take out the whole compartment, the whole, I don't know what you would call it, the the drawer or, I don't know, this, this whole piece here. I just decided to take out this whole thing. So this is the tray, maybe this is the drawer, I don't know. But they refer to this as the drawer online, okay? So I um, took it apart. Um, I, I was going to buy one, but thankfully I didn't because what I didn't realize is a lot of the ones I was finding online were not the uh, optimal dispense drawers. So um, anyway, so when I took this apart, I, I removed all the tubes and everything and cleaned it all super well. But despite that, I still had an issue. Uh, it just wasn't working. It wasn't clean. Uh, the clothes just wasn't coming all that clean. However, I did notice something. Um, if we can come in here. Um, luckily, my tubes here are, it's kind of hard. Yeah, you can see better now. Um, they're clear. Um, I don't know if that's common, but my tubes were clear. And I noticed there was a little bit of the blue detergent here. And so it made me think, you know what? Hey, it's traveling through these, this, this tube. And that's when I realized that there's a pump back here. Okay. So if we could look at this pump back here. Okay. So this pump, actually, if we can focus on it. Yeah, we can't seem to get a good focus. But anyway, this pump is what's actually uh, pumping the detergent inside. And then we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you kind of how this uh, this works because it's kind of important to know how it works so you can understand what's going on, okay? Uh, now I fixed my issue and I'm gonna share what I did in a moment here, but again, I'm just showing you. Uh, <clears throat> so there's this spout over there is actually where, it get, where, where the detergent gets pumped through those uh, uh, hoses that I just showed. And there's a tiny hole right above it, and that's where the detergent comes back in. And the water um, comes out from like the, that lip in the back right over there. Uh, yep, right about here. That's where the water comes out and just washes it down. And that's kind of how it works. And then at the very top, you have your uh, water will come out here for the soft, uh, softener, and then the back is for the bleach. Um, and again, so the way that I got it working, how did I get this pump working? Um, so what I realized is whenever I would put on a wash cycle, it, um, there's an arm right here. Um, this arm right here, it would move brief for a very brief period of time and then just stop. Uh, that didn't look normal to me. It, I felt like it should not just stop like that. Okay. 
Um, so then I started looking, okay, what should I do? How do I get this working? So the way I got this working, um, it's going to be a little loud here for a second. Okay, so I, I have it. Make sure your machine's completely off. And we're going to go into diagnostics mode, okay? Uh, this is how I got the pump working, okay? So we're going to do temp, spin, and soil three different times. Um, we're going to do them in order three different times. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. I must have not been pressing it good, but it, it three times should do it. Uh, if it didn't work for you, just uh, try again. Anyway, and then we're going to go to spin right here, okay? Okay, that's not working like I wanted to. Hold on. Okay, we're going to try this again. So once it finishes everything, you should be able to just press spin. There you go. Okay. Um, so if it if it messes up like it did for you, turn it turn it off, turn it back on. And then these are the um, so we're gonna run diagnostics on different modes. If you press start on number one, for example, okay. All right. So that's number one. Uh, I don't remember what number one does, but you could kind of test and see based on what the machine's doing. You could kind of test to see what it does. We're going to press soil, and that's going to go to test number two. And <clears throat> so here it's actually uh, testing the bleach compartment. And then number three, again, I don't remember. Oh, three does the actual uh, regular load. Maybe with hot water. Um, number four, I think just does draining. Um, and again, just uh, cycle through them, keep pressing soil. If you need to go back, um, you can do back with number 10. But this is a good way to kind of test to see how everything works. Obviously, have the actual uh, tray out so you can see what's happening inside the drawer. Now, we're going to go to number 10, okay? And then I'm going to show you what's going on. So number 10 for me was, oh, that was number 11. Let's go back to 10. Okay. All right. So number 10, if we could kind of look over here. So the way it worked is when I set it on number 10, I think I, I, I forced the pump to unclog uh, whatever clog it had going on. I forced it to unclog itself. Uh, but through the combination of washing it uh, with really hot water and again, I just took out the entire thing um, And right here. I just took the shower um, setting on my uh, kitchen faucet and I, I, I just um, Kept rinsing it out with really with hot water as best as I can and then I returned it back here and then I, I ran this diagnostics mode on option number 10 it, at first, it didn't look like it was doing anything. It looked like I was failing. It looked like it was not working. But uh, behold, it started to work. I started seeing detergent coming in uh, from the bottom hose right here and then coming back on the top hose. And uh, that fixed my problem, guys. Um, I apologize for a little bit of a longer video, but I just wanted to make sure it was as uh, detailed as possible for all of you and that it covered as many um, things as possible. As always, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Um, I'm not a professional appliance technician, but I just uh, did my best to kind of uh, show you guys what I found was the problem. Um, I, I hope it saves you guys a lot of time, maybe avoid some frustration. Um, as always, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Um, it means a lot to me when uh, I'm seeing all these comments it really motivates me to do more I know sometimes I kind of die down and I don't do as many videos, but uh, Again, it just motivates me when you guys, uh, you know, again, do those things for me. All right. Take care everyone. Bye